The boat hoist folding aluminium boat trailer. Uh, it's designed for the caravanning industry. Uh, if you're towing a caravan, you can fold your trailer up, sit it on the back of the caravan, take it with you. When you get to your caravan park, unload your boat, assemble your trailer, and you're right to get to and from the water. But what I'd like to do now is just give you a quick demo of how quick and easy it is to assemble. Aluminium, so it's lightweight. There's not, not much weight in it. Only weighs 38 kilos. Comes with a bin number and compliance plate, so they're road registrable um, in all Australian states, and they will tow safely at 100 kilometres an hour. You've got three parts. You've got the cable pack, you've got the drawbar assembly, and then you've got your mud guards and a roller. So to assemble it, what we do is we'll separate the drawbar. We then take the winch arm out of the uh, axle assembly and all we need to do is pop the back section in the axle assembly by putting that on there first it'll just hold it nice and steady for you Once you've got that back draw bar in place, simply flip the unit over. It'll now sit there nice and securely balanced for you. One of the advantages of this type of a trailer is when you're carrying it, you can store it in the caravan in its travel pack arrangement, or well, you can separate all the components. So it gives you a fair bit of flexibility depending on how your um, caravan outfit's set up. So we'll assemble the two wheels. Well, there's the two bolts. Straight down, that'll hold in place. Slide your mud guard underneath. Hold it together. As you tighten it into place, just make sure your mud guard's sitting nice and square to the wheel. Tighten it up, and it's ready to go. One of the big advantages with a bolt together design is that because everything is locked up tight, there's no movement, there's no flex in the trailer, and that's what enables it to tow safely at 100 kilometres an hour. It'll just sit snugly behind your vehicle. Flip the trailer back over. Remember, it's only 38 kilos, so it's not very heavy. Once you've got your raw bar bolted together, you see this is a lap joint. The advantage of this is it adds a lot of stability and stiffness to the actual trailer. The trailer itself will suit up to a uh, 3.95 metre boat. All you need to do now is hold the roller in place. A couple of U bolts to hold your winch post in place. Adjust these to suit your particular boat. We're in business, you're ready to go. Right, you're all assembled, ready to load your boat. Bit of a tip, don't try and winch your boat onto your trailer. The best way to do it is to actually winch the trailer underneath the boat. Once your boat's loaded, secure it down with an approved tight end strap. There's a couple of tight end points there. That's a boat trailer sorted. Boat's no good to you without our Ford motor. 
what we have here is a very handy outboard motor trolley. You can load it in and out of a vehicle. Or we also have an A-frame mount if you wish to mount it on the A-frame of your caravan. Comes with a support arm that's freestanding. And it's got that set at just the right height, so it's very easy to transfer it from the trolley onto the transom of the boat. Release those clamps. Undo the transom clamps on the motor. You now just pick that motor up straight onto the transom of your boat. Keeps that physical lifting to a minimum. All we need to do now attach our trailer light board, hook it on, and you're ready to go.